Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the new Iron Curtain that we in Western civilization now live behind. Stick around and listen. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we live behind a new iron curtain here in the West these days, apropos censorship. We're seeing an extraordinary level of censorship uh, being applied to uh, our thoughts in Western countries, and um, particularly apropos of this recent election in the United States. It's really absolutely extraordinary, the level of censorship that we've seen um, thrown around apropos of uh, Donald Trump. I mean, um, and his questioning of the election results in various key states in America. I mean, you know, it, it's, I've never seen anything like it, and it's absolutely coordinated, and I think it, it kind of proves the point that you know, there really is a conspiracy. I mean, it's, it's, it, and it's, and it's absolutely vast. Um, because, you know, independent media would have certainly, in the old days, would have certainly investigated many of these reports of, um, of election interference and election tampering, um, whether it be from mail-in ballots, whether it be from, um, you know, kind of like various uh, Democrat mischief where they don't allow observers or where they're um, bringing in votes in the middle of the night at 4 a.m. in the morning, ridiculous things like this, you know, uh, or, um, you know, with this dominion. Uh, um, there definitely would have been a lot of um, scrutiny from media on this, but there's hardly any. I mean, one of the most amazing things I thought uh, was the day of the Rudy Giuliani media conference and um, he gave this conference and it was, you know, I don't know, what, it was in a hotel somewhere, I think, and he had like, I don't know, he had a bit of stuff to blacken his hair a little and it ran down the side of his face and I just googled Rudy Giuliani and there was a hundred pictures in a row, you know, I looked down the, menu, into the feed in Google, it was all about the, the, the kind of drip and there was nothing about the factual accusations he was making. They, they didn't cover that. They said, oh, Rudy Giuliani's having some kind of big hair mistake. And it was like, it was absolutely coordinated and deliberate. And that was one of the most damning um, press conferences that Rudy Giuliani gave, where he was actually talking about, like, proof of election fraud and giving concrete examples of affidavits, concrete examples of cases that are going on from the Trump team. It was absolutely extraordinary. So we're, we're living through this um, time where we're living behind a... a I think in the West, a kind of new, um, a new Iron Curtain. It's probably different to the Iron Curtain they had in the uh, former Soviet Union in the, uh, um, and in the countries that were controlled by the Soviet Union in Eastern Europe. Uh, I call it more the Velvet, velvet Curtain. You know, it's probably, you know, uh, a fabulous Velvet Curtain because it would definitely be LGBT friendly and probably made of a quilt of different kinds of velvet or something. But it's, it's a kind of still a kind of soft totalitarianism. And if you want to find out the truth, it's important to, you know, get outside Western media and to look at sites like RT, which is Putin's website. This place is like Syrian Girl, where you hear like this, you know, uh, someone who's an independent journalist in Syria giving her a report. Sometimes you'd even look at Iran media to find out things, particularly in relation to Israel, which is, I mean, all, any news about Israel is just a whole fucking lie in the West. So, you know, it's really extraordinary. We are living in this, um, you know, uh, behind a new um, kind of, uh, whether it be called velvet or iron curtain in the West. And I think it's incredibly disturbing. And this election um, uh, with Donald Trump that was clearly stolen from him and this kind of touting of, of, of Obama, sorry, Obama, oh, that's a Freudian slip right there, Biden, who really, I think, is a placeholder for Obama and probably for Hillary Clinton as well, who's been appointed to um, the United Nations. And she'll probably be running America from the United Nations through the placeholder of Joe Biden. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a disaster, and I do think we need to resist uh, and disobey and um, do what we can to fight this new Iron Curtain that we're living under. That's it. Report from Tiger Mountain.